digging for victory in a former Taliban stronghold. Afghan tribesmen hammer the desert under the watchful gaze of American Marines. It's not punishment, but strategy. This is American counterinsurgency, a battle to win people instead of simply fighting for ground. Insurgents offer locals money to pick up arms against us. We're giving them an alternative, but we're also giving them an opportunity to develop a relationship with us and provide security for them while they work. And it is right in line with counterinsurgency. The soldiers pay each man around three pounds a day to dig ditches along the side of a road. In a place where people are poor and unemployment is high, the Marines are trying to make friends by giving them money and jobs. It's safer than fighting for the Taliban, and the money's almost as good. I wouldn't say we're trying to buy loyalty. Uh, I'd say we're showing good faith. Uh, we're going to do the road, so we might as well uh, have them work on it, give them a se uh, sense of uh, ownership. Most of these men have suffered decades of fighting and lawlessness. Around here in the past, um, everybody took up arms. The elders were in charge, but they couldn't bring any security. God knows uh, so many years people are saying uh, it's getting better, but it's getting worse. They say the government brings in security, but there is no security. The Marines are on constant alert. The Taliban have threatened to attack the workers with suicide bombers, and many fear there are already insurgent spies among their ranks. This man was caught taking a picture of the Americans on his mobile phone. He'd been selling snacks and cigarettes from a small cart on site. This is his cart here? Yeah. All right. We're going to check this out real quick. They'd already found a photograph of a rocket propelled grenade on his phone. He claimed the handset wasn't really his. There you go, sir. Something to put hair on your chest. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't either. And when they questioned him, the soldiers weren't happy with his story. Because he's a mechanic, but he's buying seeds. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how this mechanic shop fit in here. He's full of shit. I, I, I'm sorry. Insurgents have held sway here for years. As far as they're concerned, this is still their turf. Until recently, this whole area was beyond the reach of the Afghan government or international forces. It's a key transit route, popular with smugglers. Behind me lies Helmand, rich with poppy fields. That way lies Iran. Beyond the roads, there are dozens of caravan routes crisscrossing the desert. No one really believes this project will stem the flow of guns, drugs and fighters in and out of Helmand but the Marines hope it will prize ordinary people away from the insurgents. And that's the key to their strategy. Jerome Starkey, Sky News, Afghanistan.